How's it going everyone? Brian Balon here, back in Lookout Mountain. Just getting some more time in reflection and prayer, getting clear about next steps and staying focused. Yesterday was a video I put out just to sort of recommit to life and engaging again. And it was a lot better day than it has been in the past few weeks. So I wanted to share some, some things that have happened to me in the past few days, or actually just, I guess, the past few days yesterday that may help you. So one thing I was talking about financially and getting that back on track, getting a budget set together. Also, I since I'm a business owner, I have a, a profit and loss. And just getting really lean. Uh, as I've done my numbers, I was able to cut almost 35% expenses on my uh, business side month over month. And it's interesting because as you, you know, thing, things are going well and, you know, money's coming in. Maybe it's for personal if you don't have a business, but even business expenses, it's really easy to let the little stuff go. The $4.99, the $10.99, the $20 a month type stuff, the subscriptions, especially if it pertains to marketing or some kind of software. And <laughs> interestingly, uh, I mean, some actually one victory story. Interestingly, I had signed up for an annual subscription. It renewed back in January of this year about 250 bucks for the year. It's like video software type stuff. And usually they don't let you break an annual uh, contract, but considering the circumstances and what's going on, I had asked if I could cancel my subscription. And um, they sent me an email. They said they were actually gonna be back tomorrow. So I wish it was supposed to be today, but they actually emailed me back same day and said we don't normally do this but we've refunded this amount and it was the amount that i'm due for the rest that i paid, basically paid for the rest of the year they refunded it back um, so add to that there has been some maintenance fees on my checking accounts my business checking account and uh, even just like late payment stuff and you know i've actually so my situation i've actually had issues with auto pay it wouldn't trip and i'm still trying to resolve that now but didn't pay attention to it prior uh, but uh, it was just incurring fees, but was able to contest almost $230 worth of fees. And I'm actually working on getting the rest of the fees that I've had since I've gotten the credit card and the, and the checking account back in it was October of 2018. So doing a lot there to resolve some of those financial things there. But there's definitely a opportunity that you have to during this time to get those rectified and sharing those experiences with you as definitely as possible. Second realization, this is super, super important, is to have a schedule. You gotta have a schedule to know what you're gonna be doing in a day and a morning routine to set the compass north. I'm gonna share a little bit about my morning routine. Basically what I do is in the morning, I open up Google Drive and there's Google Docs in there. And I had typed out with images, and I'll go over that in a minute, a vision board of what my future year my reality in the year that i'm targeting and also what is my future reality in 10 years 15 years etc and so <clears throat> i start off with the scripture in first corinthians 9 it talks about running the race to win the prize and it sets the compass north for me that i'm thinking as soon as my eyes open up i am in a race the gun has shot my corral has left and it's time to get going so i start reading through that and setting my mindset on what are the outcomes that I want, spiritually, physically, relationally, emotionally. I write those out and I review them every single day in the morning. And then after that document and I get through what my goals are and, and those realities, I'll open up the Bible and I'm reading through the Bible in a year. It is just a way for me to get a system down, to get consistent. So as I'm reading through, it's about four to five chapters a day, sometimes three, but they're longer chapters. And it gets me thinking and reflecting on the scriptures on God's word uh, and starting off the day uh, that way. So vision document, first thing on the vision document scriptures. And then I get three to four chapters, sometimes five chapters in the Bible. And then after that, I'll go into prayer. So get some time into praying, uh, reflecting a little bit, even if it's one to two minutes, just to get it going. Uh, and then after that, I have a, a list of affirmations that I've written out for I've just collected affirmations that have been very personal to me over the past several years. You don't have to have you know, these, whatever 
affirmations, the point of the affirmations are that they're designed to solve problems in your life. So if you have uh, breaking uh, something broken in your thinking that you want to change, like, you know, maybe it's how you perceive yourself and you want to grow and how God perceives you, then it's a scripture about how God perceives you and that you're reviewing that every single day. I'll say really quickly about affirmations. They're very powerful, but repetition is key for them. I mean, you're literally rewiring your brain. Uh, repentance, that's what it is. That you're exposing your brain to the scriptures or to anything that is good, holy, noble, right? All that kind of thing. Philippians 4, I might be. This is Philippians 4, I believe. I believe. But scripture refers to anything that is good. Uh, think about such things. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. So, taking the time and the repetition to uh, focus on those affirmations will help to rewire your brain, change the way you think so that you begin to believe it. For me, when I started Affirmations in 2014, I mean, it took me about two and a half years of every single day reading those affirmations and growing in them and adding more affirmations regularly in order for me to eventually start thinking differently. And eventually, over time, with consistency, at least once a day, but the more times the better, uh, you will automatically think that way, which is pretty amazing. So morning routine, very key. Um, and then after that, usually in normal times, I'll have fitness time where I'll go to the gym, I'll ride the bike, or run on the treadmill for 20 minutes, and I'll do a lifting regimen. And that pretty much completes my morning routine. Now I am, uh, you know, on, on this mountain hiking, you know, two days now. And then I plan on uh, getting some weights in the house so I can maintain my fitness regimen as well, my lifting regimen. So what is it for you? Uh, what works for you? And uh, that's really what's key. So find something that works for you. All right, guys, hope you are having a great day and a great week, and we'll catch you next time.